move on to uh, get in, uh, some perspective from, uh, uh, you couldn't get a better uh, voice than Professor Radcliffe. So Peter, moving on to a possible vaccine against COVID-19. There are so many claims from different countries, different companies across the world that a vaccine is imminent. Some say a vaccine could be ready by September, even in Oxford. But the broad consensus seems to be that it could take a year to 18 months. What is the key factor that determines whether a vaccine will be available soon? Soon, I mean, even within six months. And how effective will a vaccine be? Well, it's reasonably quick. And indeed, those people who've had the vaccine, should it work, uh, they will be protected. Uh, the, the problem is knowing uh, how effective the vaccine is and the length of time that it takes to conduct the trial to show what the level of protection is and how long it lasts. But the first is, should, should the vaccine have a very big effect, it should become evident quite soon. The bigger the effect, the sooner you will see it. That is actually fascinating. I've uh, not heard too many people talk about that. It's not just all vaccines are similar. If a vaccine has a very marginal effect, it could take long to prove that it actually works. If it has a big effect, then it may come quicker. So the bigger effect that a vaccine has, the quicker it will be uh, widely become widely available. What is the process that determines the impact of a vaccine, whether it's going to be a, it's a big impact or a small one? And enough people have to be compared with those people who don't have the vaccine to detect a difference in the incidence and severity of disease. Uh, and uh, we, 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 we don't have the time for that at the moment. But if it's a very big effect, uh, it will be clearer earlier and all trials are monitored to see if there is a very big effect. And then one stops the trial and applies the treatment to the people who need it in the light of getting that evidence. Yeah, that's really... Of course, you get the evidence sooner if the effect is bigger. That's a really interesting. And I'm going to ask you a very unfair question. What's the earliest you think one could have this vaccine? Unfair question, but I'm going to ask anyway. Well, as I say, you've got it now and that the first people have received it and should it be very protective, then they will be um, benefiting from that uh, protection. Uh, but it will take um, almost certainly months to get a trial result and then uh, perhaps a bit longer to get the scale up required uh, for large numbers of the world human population to benefit from the vaccine. Yeah. 